brought it home. <laughs> Thank you, Carl. I love being back here. A minister was recognized for his work in the church a number of years ago. And the applause was deafening, and the ovation was standing, and the lighting, oh, it was, it was bright. And as he strode across the stage to receive his award, he had an epiphany occur to him that he had an awful lot in common with the common packing. Now, 2,000 years ago on Palm Sunday, there was a donkey that hooked it into the holy city. And the crowd... Well, they were waving their branches, and they were laying their jackets in the road, and they were shouting, Hosanna in the highest. And that donkey must have thought, at least for a moment, the adulation, the parade, the pomp, and the circumstance, well, it's all for me. <laughs> it's all for me. Today, of course, is not for me. It is for who was in the saddle. Mm. Amen. And I do not intend the white Christ that I grew up with, the pin-up savior of soft verbs with the honey brown hair and the glassy blue eyes and fresh breath, <laughs> who invited me to the, the very lowest common denominator of faith, and that is quaint worship from afar. No, what I mean is the very black, ontological Jesus. Mm -hmm. One with a prophetic voice and a tangled beard who smells like band-aids. One who confronted me here in Atlanta and admonished, I do not need more worshipers, I need more followers. He incarnated as a homeless derelict. He was born in the gutter of a teenage mom, a suspect marriage. He was an unbecoming pauper, not a manicured prince. His preaching was parabolic. He talked about a reckless steward hurled seeds in bad soil. He was a terrible financier. <laughs> he forgave debt to people who could never pay him back. And he wrote checks to laborers who arrived late. It was time to clock out. He was a suspect shepherd. Who defied the flock of Pharisees in favor of the lost lamb and the bramble. And he perpetuated scandalous table manners. He was always grabbing milk crates and stools so that everybody at the table would feel welcome. And he trespassed all over the purity codes of exclusion in the dining room. And he began the civil rights movement by breaking bread and passing cup. And he was adamant. He was adamant in his life and his death and his resurrection that our salvation is bound up in the people we most dismiss. Our salvation is bound up in the people we most exclude. This Jesus, the one that founded Haywood Street, the congregation disparate blend of haves and have-nots, of intoxicated and sober, of mentally ill and sane, of purveyor and prostitute, of lost and found. He is the one that found and claimed me here at Canada. Here. So I say thank you to friend and family. I say thank you to mentor and minister. I say thank you to administrator and professor. I say thank you to Howard Thurman. I say thank you to Luther Smith. And I say thank you to this institution, this seminary that taught me everything that I do today. You are the ones that have formed me, and these awards are always shared. As for me, I am honored and I am privileged to be a heavy legged beast, a donkey helping haul the freight of the gospel. For the one, for the one in whose name we gather, who is always and forever, transforming and sanctifying and reconciling and reconciling and reconciling the world back to himself. Mm -hmm.